going to tell him about this? I'm telling you, you'll be a star on TV. Just from the wedding. How did you come to that conclusion? Uh, life for me right now is uh, positively busy. These look familiar. Yeah, this is the cleats from the season. I got all the stuff. I took them after the national championship game. It's kind of hanging out in the living room, right? <laughs> if you Google my name, I understand what's going to come up. Everything from the past. Your child is fun to be irresponsible, you know what I'm saying? To have fun and to, and to live free and wild and no responsibility. Stand trial. Um, There's no coincidence of why things happened the way they did. When you look at the way I was living at the time, when I just look back on it now, you know what I mean? Had that not happened, you know what I mean? Who knows where you would be? You can only make assumptions. You know, I would love to be in the NFL and be a leading rusher and your jersey retire somewhere, you know what I mean? But that's not my reality. You know, you, you look at them and say, hey, it was a learning, it was a learning point. Hopefully they carry me on and, and, uh, and take me to where I need to be. We're on our way to the old school gym in Pataskala, Ohio. So much in the past, um, so many letdowns. You let you let yourself down, or uh, so many failures I had come from not being disciplined. And you know, through the process of being incarcerated, you start to understand what got you to where you was at in the first place. And so, to kind of never get caught slipping again. And this is not like a, what is it called, a Valley's Total Fitness. <laughs> People come here to train, not work out. Ready to rock and roll. There's nothing bad that comes out of you going to the gym every morning. The motivation comes from strictly discipline. A lot of people say, hey, why don't you uh, play football? I didn't quit football. Football quit me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I understand the nature of the business. I just can't call a guy and say, hey, I want to come try out. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Who do this much work at 4 in the morning? This is where you get your confidence from. If it's not to play in the Super Bowl, I think every guy wants to be in the Olympics. That's like a childhood dream for anything. And me, rugby, I would say, is the closest thing to it. At Ohio State, aggressive play was kind of my style of ball. And when I see the skill set I have, I see the energy I have, I see my commitment to working out, to wanting to get better. And I can envision myself having success. I can envision myself being down to real. I can envision myself uh, getting inside of a program where I can excel in. I get speaking requests throughout the day uh, from random people, be it through universities, uh, be it through churches, uh, be it through business organizations, anything. It is my sincere honor to welcome what I consider a friend now, Maurice Claret, to the platform. Would you help me welcome Maurice? How did you go from up here to end up in prison? When I was kicked out of school, I had nobody, no direction. You know, said so nobody I'd like say, hey, um, which way do I shuffle my life? You know, what I'm saying. And even when I was incarcerated, a lot of the young guys used to come up to me like, how do you live? Or like, why do you read? How do you educate yourself? How do you operate as a man? And you start to get a different level of fulfillment. And I think you just connect with people on a different level. I believe I connect with people on a different level. Giving my buddy Corey books to give away to the cancer. Yeah, it's a uh, kick, it, kick It for Kids with Cancer Foundation, so they're gonna uh, do a silent auction with them. This is from the 2002 National Championship game. When you have this opportunity, you know what I mean? When you get a chance to talk to people and you're more responsible, 
you take that platform and you do something with it. That's the original right there. Yeah, these hard to find. A good deed for a good cause. For me to be a great man to my girlfriend, for me to be a, a great father to my daughter. This is the first book report she did on uh, Justin Bieber. Knocked it out. Like I, I tell everybody all the time, you don't even have to have a bunch of money to educate your kids. A dollar from the bookstore. You know, when you get your freedom stripped away from you, uh, the things that used to matter don't matter. You know what I mean? You just start to appreciate the basics, like, of just living. But I have a, a belief in my heart and belief in my mind and belief in my spirit that uh, the success that I have coming in the future will be bigger than the success or the impact in life will be bigger than what I would have in football. It's just, you know, it's just all about the improvement of life. As crazy as my life may sound, how do I improve it?